Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Uh, this video is from EDC chapter number two, Clipper circuits. And primarily here I'll be solving this question which was sent by a student from Bangladesh. And I found it to be very interesting. So let's go through it. First of all, just to give you a concept of open circuit, uh, when a battery, has two wires and no matter how long these two wires are if you connect a voltmeter at the end the voltage will be same as it was here so this is the uh, open circuit voltage that the open circuit voltage will remain same no matter even if you connect resistances with this these wires the output will still be 12 volt or whatever was the input now the question sent by the student, uh, find the input and output wave shape in the following figure. The input frequency is 1 kilohertz. The diode is ideal and peak sinusoidal input is 20 volt. So this is the circuit. You can see there are three resistances, one diode and a 5 volt battery. Now this 5 volt battery is actually uh, doing a reverse bias or reverse biasing this diode where the positive of the battery is connected with the negative of the diode so the diode will reverse remain reverse bias till such time input overcomes this 5 volts so we'll see that now first of all we have to draw the input wave shape generally we take the wave shapes like this and we write uh, t here we have uh, chosen 20 volt that is what is given so peak is 20 volt but we got to adjust or we got to draw the time scale for uh, one kilohertz signal now when the frequency is one kilohertz we know the time period is one over f which is one over one kilo and it is the one millisecond in, in uh, seconds so one millisecond will be the time period so our, we can draw the input now same peak but now the tau or the t is one millisecond and obviously half of it will be 0 0.5 millisecond so this is our input applying to the circuit now there will be three stages first of all as we said that up to 5 volt up to 5 volt this circuit will remain open circuit so let's see up to plus 5 volt this will remain open circuit so this is open circuit and whatever is at the input that will be at the output so the input is up to 5 volt so that will be at the output that is the first part now uh, instead of we could have done that we take 6 volts 7 volts 8 volts and do the calculation but easiest is that we just select the peak so we are assuming that the 20 volt is now applied here and we'll find the output. Now we have drawn a current, we're calling it I. I've also named these resistors as R1, R2, and R3. So it is easy to identify. And now from this circuit, by KVL, we can find the current. So by KVL, we start from here minus 20, then I1 into 1K, I1 into 1K, then is the plus 5, and then I1 into 1K. So from here, I is 5 milliampere. Now that we have found I, we need to find the voltage drop here and the voltage drop here. So the total of all three will be our V output. So let's find VR2 is the voltage drop here. This current multiplied by resistance, it will be 5 volt. Similarly, VR3 drop here will also be 5 volt. So now our V out will be this voltage drop plus this voltage drop and plus this voltage drop. That is VR2 plus 5 plus VR3. So 5, 5, 5 from here. So it is 15 volt. So the output will be 15 volt when the input is. 20 volts. So that is uh, the point we have to keep in mind.
and so the diagram will be now this is the input 20 volt but the output will only be up to 15 volt and now the third part when the negative signal is applied the diode will be reverse biased because of this negative and so whatever is at the input it will go at the output that means the this will be open circuit so the negative will go out as negative so this is the output okay now we had this output for up to five this was for the 20 volt positive uh, this output and this is for the negative half cycle so adding all three uh, we can redraw the circuit final circuit so this is up to 15 volt and the negative is up to negative 20 so this is the final output the summation of three now I Okay, I had uh, some doubt, uh, so I just wanted to be sure that whatever I have uh, found out theoretically is correct. And so I'm taking help of a um, simulator circuit. This is a fullstate.com circuit, and uh, I'm using this for the first time. But with little practice, you can become a master for this circuit and easily you can simulate. So this was our circuit, 1K, 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 and the diode. This battery is a 5 volt battery. Let's see its property. So it's 5 volt DC. And the input signal I'm uh, using is uh, 20 volt AC. The only change I have made is the frequency. Instead of 1 kilo, I'm using 10 hertz so that we can easily see the graph uh, clearly. And uh, 2 voltmeters here. Uh, to show the results and also there is an option in this to use a scope so when you clip and uh, you can get the scope so these are the uh, this is the scope showing combined result of the uh, first uh, voltmeter and the second voltmeter now from here you can see that there is a difference in the output this is the peak that is 20 volt input and the output is actually 15. This scale is 10, so this is 15 is the output. And similarly, if you see the meter reading, it is 20 when it is positive 20, then the output is about 15.17 or 15. Also the negative cycle, as we have concluded that the negative voltage or the, at the negative cycle, the voltage remains 20 volt. So this is 20 volt. And just uh, to show you, let me run the simulator now. Okay, now you can see this is moving and when I put my cross at the red, it is showing 15 volt. When I put it at the uh, green, it is showing 19 or 20 volt actually. I have to keep moving this. And also this uh, voltmeter reading is moving very fast. And to see the positive, I think there's, there's something which I'm missing. Let me increase the speed. And now you can see the positive. And I, if I make a couple of stops, you can see the differences. Now, see there's a difference. The input is 10, then the output is 8. Run again. Negative, same. Further negative, same. Further negative, same. Same. Okay, now let's see the positive. You can see when the input is 4, Output is also 4. And as we have concluded that up to 5 volt of the input, the output will remain same. The moment we cross 5 volt, the output will gradually keep on decreasing. So, you see, now it is 7.6, it is 6.9. And further, it is 11, it is 9. 14, 11. 18, 14 point something. So 
So I hope now you uh, could be confident that whatever result we have got is correct.